All right, now we woke them all up. No stamina. Crap, where'd he come from? Hey everyone, this is Vandal 6 Actual, and we're back in the Badlands again for more Seven Days to Die. It's now day number 14. Maybe it's a horde day, maybe not. But right now, we, uh, we don't have a base. Uh, we did this the last time and nearly paid for it dearly, so our biggest priority today is figuring out where we're going to stand and fight. Uh, we'll combine that with the POI clearing, because the only places we've already cleared in this new town are the laundromat, which is down below us right now, and the funeral, which is right behind us. Uh, right now, I'm thinking the auto shop across the street is our best bet, so I think I'm going to start there. But I have to show you this. If you didn't watch the end of the previous episode, um, I have done a lot of work to the base here really quick. Uh, I'm going to show you this. So this is not where the door originally was. It was right here. And uh, this building stopped basically right here. Um, and actually right here. And so what I did overnight was went ahead and extended this thing out to the east side of the building here. Uh, pretty good ways. was originally going to make this two separate rooms. Decided why bother with that. And so now we have this nice big living space here where we're going to have room for several forges um, and workbench and chem station. And we can put the cement mixers or whatever outside if we want to. But uh, yeah, so today we do need to get a move on finding a place to hold down the fort because it could be a horde night. I don't know for certain if it's going to be or not. Uh, because we do have a two-day range set on this. So we really don't know uh, what we're going to be looking at here. But um, let's just get a move on right now and and uh, go ahead over to this auto shop place, this Gears or Gearworks or whatever it's called over here, uh, and clear this place out. <laughs> So here we are, and somebody's unhappy that we're coming. All right, come on. Ah. Ow. Hey, not cool, dude. Knock it off. All right, he's down now, too. Uh, we took a couple of hits there. But it's not the end of the world. So I, I raided that uh, gas tank the other day. See what's in here. Nothing. Um, do want to drop a few things off on the bike that we're not going to need until it comes time to actually start building this place out. All right. So let's go ahead and get inside here. Um, need to be on the lookout for a dog. We got the dog house right there. And uh, all right, let's see what we've got. Uh, we've got a construction worker zombie coming at us. Was hoping for some, oops, hoping for some sneak damage, but he heard something. There was a little thump when we stepped in here. I don't know what it was that did that. Let me back my arrows. That's a one. Okay. All right. Anything else in here? Uh, there's a workbench right there. So if we need a workbench for the time being, we do have access to one back here. That'll be good uh, until we can build our own. And there is something under there. And yeah, I dropped the fire axe. Let's go get it. Probably just a, a purse or some foul trash or something. But, you know, leave no stone, stone unturned, right? Or in this case, leave no part of the there it is. Purse, just like I thought. Yeah, 15 bucks. Take that to the trader next time. And okay, it is a working workbench. So we can go ahead and use that one down the road. All right, let's get into this passing gas crate really quick. Steel tools schematic. That is awesome. Now we have the ability to... Uh, to, to make some of these steel tools. Uh, we don't have steel yet, but uh, we can go ahead and make uh, the pickaxes and fire axes and things like that. So that'll come in really, really handy at some point here. All 
yes. Achievement. We've had a lot of uh, bad luck with these POIs. We're gonna drop in from the top here, so um, not so much really in this series, but uh, in the other series that I've got running right now, uh, Blood Moon Blitz. We've really gotten torn up pretty bad in these places because there's no easy way to get out of these things. So it's pretty much just stand and fight until somebody's dead. And that's about it. Okay, so we have a closet right over here. So let's bust this open. It's a laundry closet. And nobody in there. Okay. Um, I don't see anybody else who's readily visible at this point. So let's make sure we land on the mattress. Crap! Where'd he come from? And I'm stunned. I have no idea where he came from. What in the world? Did he fall down out of the ceiling up here? He must have. Must have been standing up there or something. I really should have cleared this place before doing this. Because right now I'm making all sorts of noise. The fact that... Nobody woke up, but there sounds like a small group or whatever passing by on the outside. Maybe it's just one. It sounded like more than one. But uh, <laughs> whoever it is might end up making a, a way out for me. And there's a chem station. And that's what I expected to see there. Uh, why am I looking down the scope for this guy? Just shoot him. Really shouldn't even be doing that, but... Alright, what do we have in here? Anything? Anyone? There's got to be something behind that door. Yes. Something else over here, too, that I just heard. Oh, crud. We got two of them in here. Um, well, we'll use the club while we can. Nice shot. Narwhal. Hitbox on this guy's head is about the size of a peanut. But he's able to make contact with us every time. Good lord. Can we have that spear back, please? Really, that's what takes you out? Alright, whatever's trying to get in here is trying to get in right there. It's starting to tick me off. You're messing up my base right now. Or my future base. Okay, we'll just do it that way. That works too. Now she's dead. And shaking her head. All right, let's get back in here. Get this place cleaned out. Good news is this is a small place, so clearing it should be pretty quick. We can go ahead and drop everything back off at the base. And um, really don't know that there's a whole lot that I want to do to this place. Um, you know, we've we tried to stand and fight at the doorway of one previously, and we weren't able to get everything fortified in time. So we can probably do that pretty quickly here. Yeah, I had a feeling there was at least one more in here. How you didn't wake up with all of that other noise, I don't understand. But... Alright, down you go. Uh, we do have lockpicks with us. I don't remember how many, but we do have some. It's like 17 more, so if we can't get in with 17 lockpicks, we're in trouble. And there we go, it only took two. All right, what do we have? A scope mod, a fortifying grip mod, and a triple storage pocket mod. That triple storage mod is going to be huge for us. Um, that gets us into the final row here of, of unlocks. 
and uh, that's that's a big help for us because right now we're encumbered by three um, so we wouldn't be encumbered at all yet if we had that on us right now all right and the good stuff is coming up back here in this back room all right we have passing gas ammo pile working stiff and an unlocked reinforced chest so let's go get into these really quick and find out what we got all right let's go ahead and start with the working stiff we've got an iron sledgehammer we're gonna have to do a few things here really quick so uh let me clear out a little inventory and i'll be right back All right, so we went ahead and put that storage pocket mod, that triple mod, on our iron boot armor, or foot armor, leg armor, whatever you want to call it. And we got another workbench schematic, because we don't have enough of those already, and a hunting knife schematic. So, not the greatest of stuff out of these two boxes so far. But, uh, and a hunting knife out of, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a winner of a, of a POI loot-wise, I'll tell you. All right, we got a club that is not better than what we already have. So we can just go ahead and sell that one. Got some grenades, got some iron gloves. So all stuff that we can just go ahead and sell. And hey, there's a suitcase up here. Yeah, shotgun shells. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, I think all I want to do really is um, maybe close this hole up a little bit, put a ladder up here so that we can get out. And um, right here at the front door, we'll just, uh, we'll go ahead and um, we'll stand and fight there, I think. All right, let me clear stuff out here. All right, well, let's uh, go ahead and grab the stuff that we're going to need to fortify this place. And then we can go ahead and have a little bit of fun. Um, I think I want to just try driving north and see what we've got outside of this town so i think that's what we're going to do with the rest of the day so let's go ahead and take care of what we need to around here and be done with it All right, what I'm doing right now is breaking out these windows because I do want to at least bring these up to cobble if I can. Um, and really the only way that I'm gonna be able to do that is to, to break them out here, put in wood frames for now, and then we can reinforce these things later on. But uh, yeah, I definitely want these to be cobble uh, because that's gonna be a lot stronger than and just the regular wood and if you know they can't get in just standing on the ground on the outside but if they were able to get up here and break these things out and then pile on top of each other um, then they, that could be pretty problematic for me so um, so that's why I'm going ahead and doing this we go ahead and get these upgraded and then we're gonna get over to our house do I, yeah, I don't have I have no cobble on me right now we're gonna get over to our house and uh, or our base and see what we have as far as cobble goes if we have to go ahead and make a run to get some stuff then we'll go ahead and do that um, but I don't think that we're really hurting for it right now because uh, we haven't used it for anything up to this point so uh, I believe that should be it well I didn't get those in that room or this room right here but uh, we've got extra protection here and I'm going to turn these to cobble as well so uh, we should be pretty good to go for quite a while and I'm going to bust out this outer part here and fill this thing in 
And unfortunately, this is taking a little longer than I wanted it to, but you know, you got to be safe for Horde Night. And we didn't really have a big one the first time around, but I have no idea what to expect for the second one here. Uh, we've definitely bumped up our game stage quite a bit here. I'm just going to put the, this column here, not because you need it for the ladders, but because I want this to tell me where the ladder is. If I'm making a break for it, I want to know how to get here easily. Um, so I want to make, let me make three. And I'm going to actually pick up oh, one, two, three, yes. And I'm going to put a frame down right here just to jump on. Uh, to get up here and then pick it up once we get up onto the ladder. There we go. So now I can just get out of here by doing that, look down, grab that frame, get up to the top, and they can't follow me up. Um, I am going to right now go ahead and put this one out. We're going to have it here anyway, and I need to bust this thing out. Do I have my pickaxe on me yet? So I have that. I'm going to go ahead and do this really quickly. Um, actually I need both of those. I need you for the first step. I'm going to go do this really quickly and put my own door in here. Really more than anything, I just want something here. We're going to leave it open, but I want something that I can, uh, that I can close if I need just that last little bit of safety and security here. Um, So throw that there and then we'll reinforce this, but I'm going to leave it open. And if I need that last little bit of security, then we can go ahead and close that just to buy us enough time to get up the ladder. So there we go. And we've got spikes out front too. That's going to, um, you know, we'll go ahead and probably craft some of those ourselves to add to it. Uh, but I need to go back and get some wood to be able to do that. Uh, we should have plenty of that back at base. Okay, so we have 607 cobble there. I don't have any cement already made, so um, it's not going to be anything that we're going to be able to do there. But uh, I can go ahead and get some more cobble crafting. And I think what we're going to do here with the rest of the day, um, and I'm racing around here like tonight's Horde Night, and I just realized that it's not actually. We have a range set here, and I never even paid attention to the number. It never turned red. But now our base is actually ready for us. So let's go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and get a POI from here. Let's see if we can find something that we can go ahead and get into um, that we can get through fairly quickly. Oops. Uh, let's go ahead and actually go into the cemetery here. Or, no, there's a construction site here. We're going to hit the construction site. We're going to do this for the rest of the day. Um, I'm not actually even familiar with this particular house, I don't think. Um, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. All right, so I think we've got to go here and here. How much ammo do we have? 277. We are good to go. All right, and we're going to have to come out here and break up those, those uh, piles of rocks, too, at some point. All right, let's see what we've got in here. Hello, zombies. Where are you? Are there any of you here? Do you hear something snoring? Is this the one that goes downstairs and there's a... No, that's it. There's nothing on that one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, nothing on the slab. One of these, I think if you go downstairs, there's a bear in the place. And I am not armed for a bear. Holy. Ah, we got a construction worker snoring over here. Put that one right in your ear. And that was enough to wake up his buddy. Oh, not that. I'm not going to beat you to death on a wood frame. Alright, now we woke them all up. 
No stamina. Crap, where'd he come from? All right, pistol. Well, if they weren't awake, they're awake now. All right, what do we have here? Something's beating on something out here. Continue to make our way through here. I do recognize this place now. Yes, I've seen this place. All right. I remember that all that great loot down there. And we got one right here. And we got more than one. Get up. Why did I crouch? Hate when that happens. Oh, jeez. Well, we got a mess of them outside right now, too. So let's get out here, find out who's beating on what. Hey, Arlene. Bye, Arlene. Alright. Let's get back downstairs really quick. However we gotta get there, I can't remember. Go right here. Alright. Get all the way back down. I want to dig up as much of this stuff as I can. And right now... All right, do we have anybody left back here who's going to catch us off guard? All right, I was hoping that this episode was going to have at least one decent horde fight in it, or not horde fight, a zombie fight in it. And, you know, that was a it was a fairly sizable group that we just fought there. So, you know, I was worried that this one was going to be pretty boring with all of that work being done on the base early on. But uh, I, think that, I think it paid off coming over here. Hopefully it pays off in loot, too. There's a shotgun messiah box over there. And we got another shovel. All right, shotgun messiah. Give me something good. Give me something good. Don't give me garbage. Don't give me garbage. No hunting knives. Oh, crap. That's not what I expect out of a shotgun messiah box. I'm expecting a small tools tank mod. That's a working stuff box. Better loot out of the little pile over there. And I got out of the, uh, oh, this one's locked. All right. We have plenty of lock. Did I draw? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I dropped my lock picks. I dropped those in the drop chest. All right. Well, we'll have to, you know what? Let's go ahead. Oops. Let's go ahead and mark it on the map that we have. Okay. So let's go ahead and I guess we're going to dig up the rest of this stuff now. Um, and then we can loot the, we'll dig up some of the cobble and stuff down here. And then we'll loot as much as we can upstairs before nightfall. That's it for down here. Now we're up in the kitchen and we have not looted this area yet. So let's see what we've got up here. We've got leg armor can and I get there's nobody living here but good golly this is bad loot all right let's do some digging I do need to be aware that there's somebody who wants to eat my head and that he's probably not going to be happy until he can. Yes. 
So let's skip the rest of the cobble, hit the dumpster here. Got some wood. Let's get upstairs. Actually, I'm going to skip that cobble because I want that barrier. Oh crap, we're on the ground. What's out here? What are we fighting? Sounds like they got in. Yeah, whatever it was, it got in. So where did it manage to get in at? Right here on the front door? Yes, right there. And now I think it went upstairs. Sounds like it, but how did it get up here? There it is. All right. Now let's go ahead and break down a little bit more of this. I really want this stone, if I can get it. And we got a skater punk. All right, where did I leave my bike? There it is. Okay, so we got our base ready for Horde Night. It didn't end up being today, could end up still being tomorrow, um, but we're in pretty good shape at this point. So uh, first thing tomorrow, we'll head over there with our cobble and finish building it out. What happened here? How did I not see this? Okay. All right. Well, let's get up here. We are now safely at home, so, and it's after dark, so uh, I think we're going to end the day here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Your support truly means a lot to me. I love hearing from you, so drop a comment here and let me know if you like the series. Um, and if you aren't already subscribed and you'd like to know when the next video is available, click that subscribe link and hit the notification bell too. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that thumbs up and maybe share it with your friends. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram. That's at Vandal6Actual. I can't wait to bring you more videos of 7 Days to Die and other games, but that'll have to wait for next time. Until then, this is Vandal6Actual, out.